Hey, what's up guys? Gonna be doing a movie review today, and that is A Quiet Place. Came out in 2018. Uh, stars Emily Blunt. Um, don't know the rest of the cast. Not familiar with their work. The main guy in the film looks like Grizzly Adams. <laughs> but, uh... You know, g going into this film and watching it for the first time, uh, I wasn't too excited about it. It starts off very silent, like a silent film. That's the best way to describe this type of movie, is it's a modern silent film. And you're mostly reading subtitles and they're doing sign language with each other because you have to stay quiet because if they don't these creatures that live amongst them on their planet will snatch them kill them so they have to be very quiet move very slowly not speak any kind of sounds you have to be very quiet now some sounds that are qu you know not as loud can be uh, not heard from these creatures but if they're loud then uh, they can hear you so that's your main premise of the film. It doesn't go into detail why these creatures exist on Earth. It's kind of a post-apocalyptic type of film. You're kind of just thrown into this situation with no explanation. Just that it is what it is. This is their situation. This is how they have to survive their situation and adapt. And it's uh, quite interesting once it gets to the point where there is spoken dialogue. And then from there, the movie starts picking up. It's kind of a slow burn. And that was my issue from the beginning. I'm like, I I I'm being completely thrown off from the subtitles and just very silent you know sign language stuff it just it was starting to get annoying after a while I was like oh god do I have to sit through this but the movie does pick up it's kind of a slow burn and then it starts things start to unfold and reveal there's clever ideas you know getting more you know unfolding as the movie progresses and it it does it's one of the it's kind of like a older type of horror film where it has it kind of has it's kind of slow pace in the beginning and then it starts to build up to the major reveal and then it gets really intense and i i don't want to go i don't really want to do spoilers this is kind of a complicated film to describe um because it's one of those movies that it it revolves around sound so any kind of sound you make you have to be very careful you know they're playing a board game and they're being very careful how they play it they're listening to headphones when they're listening to music or you know they have to be very careful with sounds any kind of electronic devices that make sounds they have to be very aware of their environment and be very careful they don't you know drop a plate because if they drop a plate and it crashes and breaks into thousands of pieces that makes a lot of noise so once that happens these creatures can hear it they're uh... they can hear sound very good very sensitive and they'll come right after you and kill you. 
Um, that's that's their premise of the film. And Emily Blunt character, uh, she uh, she's pregnant. And once that is revealed, because I don't think it reveals it right away, and then you see that she's pregnant, and you're like, and then she, her water broke. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> How is she supposed to have this baby without making sound during childbirth? And once she has the baby, they figure out how to distract these creatures from making sound so she can have she can deliver her child um once she has a baby then you're like oh shit it finally dawns on me like oh shit shit's about to hit the fan now because now you got a baby and babies make a lot of noise <laughs> so uh it's a it's a very intense kind of slick, clever type of film. But I can understand why people are turned off by some of the things in the movie. If you watch this film and you really think about because it's definitely a movie that after you watch it you still talk about it amongst friends or whoever. It's, it's definitely a movie that you talk about afterwards. And you can pick it apart. You can you know, if you pick it apart, it's uh, it's one of those movies that you can find the flaws if you look too much into it. If you just look at it as a movie and their situation, how they adapt to it, and how they try to survive this situation, and not put logic into it because if if you do, you're going to get more confused by the logic of this movie. Because everything creates sound. Everything. I mean... I, it's just... If these creatures are so sensitive to sound and they can hear it from miles away and they just come right after you, it's... Uh, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's like you can't win. These creatures are just going to kill you eventually. I mean, how are you supposed to take a shower? Shower makes noise, right? You know? Everything makes noise. How do you survive in this situation? Unless you eat a bunch of canned goods... I don't know, logic is kind of thrown out the window a little bit with this movie. You know? I mean, they had that she's pregnant. How did they not make noise while there were, you know. <laughs> How was that possible? <laughs> When they're being intimate. <laughs> the only logic I could think of is the father takes his son to this... Uh, it's like a waterfall. And there's so much sound, it blocks any kind of sound that they make. So they can actually talk to each other while they're near the waterfall. So they can actually speak to each other and not have to do their sign language. Because it muffles the sound of their voices, the waterfall. Maybe they were intimate. The father and mother were intimate by the waterfall. I don't know. They don't go into too much detail. I was thinking when she was about to have childbirth, that's where they probably should have took her was to the waterfall so she can have her baby because they can't hear her scream or, you know, in pain from giving birth. But, I don't know. But they don't explain where these creatures are from. Uh, I, I'm assuming they're not from Earth. <laughs> they're aliens. Uh, 
but kind of interesting, clever ideas um, as far as, you know, they have a hard shell and you can't shoot them unless you make the sound that drives them crazy, this loud sound from frequency and it drives them mad to the point where they open up their like innards and their shell their you know their protective shell that they have um, it's you know they're more vulnerable so by doing that they can actually kill them so they found a way to kill them but the movie is uh, it leaves it it kind of leaves you hanging um, it's kind of a cliffhanger but I'm not going to go into too much details about the story. I'd say the character development is really good. I like the father. I like the mother. I like the kids. I like the ideas. I think it's very clever. Um, does the movie need more depth? Yes. Can the movie be better? Yes. Could the ending be in more, more to it? Yes. We could have used another half an hour make it to two hours and have our, sh you know, they're battling all these creatures. But it's kind of anticlimactic. It sets it up for a sequel. And that's what they plan on doing. So, uh, really like the character development, like the acting. I thought there was clever ideas. The movie is not perfect, but what movie isn't? I definitely... I re actually enjoyed this film. It's something I probably would buy. I actually uh, wasn't expecting anything. I was expecting a typical, you know, recycled horror, mo modern horror film that we are constantly seeing nowadays. They're just, it's so tiresome and formalic. It's, it's just run of the mill. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm so tired of possession films and same modern horror films that they make. They're just the same thing. How many times do I need to see uh, Paranormal Activity or some possession type of film? Or This was a nice change of pace. Is it completely original? No, but it does have something different to offer. It's like taking an older idea, but adding something new to it. And I give them props for trying, at least. You know, I, I was entertained by the film, and I definitely recommend it. So, this is my review of A Quiet Place. I enjoyed the film, so... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you guys have a good day. Take it easy.